Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am back for part three of my Thursday morning beach walk at Del Norwegans Pass State Park in beautiful Naples, Florida. North Naples, Florida. Right now the temperature is oh, around 61, 62 degrees. It's about 920. 920, 820. I'm sorry. I think it's 820. Somewhere around there. <laughs> Who cares what time it is? It's beach time. The sun took a little dive behind the clouds. It's just coming up over top of the condos here on Vanderbilt Beach. Pretty quiet morning. No dolphins. No dolphin sightings this morning, unfortunately. Quiet but beautiful. It's awesome being able to come out here and spend some time with our beach family. Beautiful colors, beautiful blue sky this morning. Beautiful shades of blue. The water temperature is 72 degrees. Expecting today's high to get up to around 76 with the possibility of some rain this evening. Maybe a 40, 50 chance, so who knows. Our weatherman's just playing it safe just in case it rains. Gonna take a little stroll up to the beach back to where we started this morning up to area four. So relax, hang out, chat with your friends, get some new friends on here. Hit the share button. There's plenty of room in our beach family for new members. Awesome. Welcome back, Janet. Good morning. Smiling people. I bet you'd be smiling too if you were here, wouldn't you? How can you come to the beach and not smile?
Oot, 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 sorry. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be on and off sun here with these clouds passing by. Gosh, right, right when I was taking my little break between parts two and three, it was really nice out here. The sun was popping out. Now the clouds moved back in. I'm trying to figure out which way they're coming from. I hope all that stuff isn't headed our way. Oh, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. I appreciate it when you appreciate me with some Facebook stars. That is always awesome. Feel free to send as many as you like. <laughs> Any stars that you send now through the end of May, through April 1st, actually get doubled by Facebook, so that is awesome. Or, I'm sorry, through the end of March. Through the end of March. Not May. I was like, ooh, that'd be awesome. Nope, it ends in March. So, three months. The next three months, Facebook doubles the stars. I don't know why they're doing that. They must have some money they got to get rid of. I just made somebody smile. She wasn't looking too happy. And when I say good morning, she smiled. Oh, look at that now. There's that sun peeking out. Well, the water isn't as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be really cloudy, but it's not too bad with all those waves we've been having. Starting to calm down and clear up. Awesome. Total awesome activity. Tammy, good morning. And Jackie, of course, Jackie's back. God bless you, dear. Jackie and Rose, I'm guessing Rose is on here. Mary, good morning. Now we're starting to see the colors in the trees. Now that sun's out. We're starting to see our greens. Glorious. So I had a nice little evening beach walk yesterday. Stuck around for sunset. Had a nice sunset. I had a few friends hanging out with me watching. That was sweet of you. It's a great way to end our day. Didn't make it out here in the morning yesterday. So I figured what the heck, come out for sunset. And I promise I'll be out here more often in the evenings. Seems like a lot of people enjoy those sunsets. I'm going to try to do at least two evenings a week.
this Sunday. I think I'm going to be able to do one beach walk Sunday morning, this coming Sunday morning. Can't promise, but I got to go out to Kauaichobe. I promise them some time on Sunday. I got another little video that I want to make for them with one of their new volunteers, with my friend Rebecca out there and one of the new volunteers. I want you to catch the excitement of a new volunteer. I'm telling you, you go out there, if you volunteer, you just go out there, if you like animals, you go out there and you're going to want to help out. You're going to want to become a part of Koyachova. You're going to want to volunteer, if you can. Some people just don't have the time. Or, you know, they're just visiting here. But whatever, go out there and check the place out. I don't think you've ever been to a place like Koyachova. <laughs> Koyachova Animal Preserve. Scroll through my videos. Put the keyword in, Koyachova. I think if you just put K-O-W-I-A in the search in my videos, that should be enough to find Kawaiachobi. You don't have to learn how to spell it. Just put K-O-W-I-A. They're always looking for volunteers. Tours are at 10 a.m. Not open to the general public. You have to call and make a reservation. You can find all that information on Facebook in my posts. Once you find my posts, you'll find a link to Kawaiachobi's Facebook. Give their page a like. Help me spread the word about Kawhi Chobi. Volunteers, donations, they need it all. Not just financial donations. They could always use lumber, building materials, fencing, concrete. They're still, I think, looking for some more brick pavers. Their goal is to one day have a paver walkway throughout the facility for our friends that have a hard time getting around. Money, of course, very, very important. Money is important. But supplies, cleaning supplies, you can get online, go to Sam's or Costco or something, have some cleaning supplies donated to them. You know, case of paper towels, sterilizer, you know, sanitizer, whatever you call that crap. <laughs> and it's become a part of our lives. Think about animals, what animals need. They do pretty good on the food. They get food from the grocery stores here in town. All the stuff that would normally get thrown out, that gets spread out amongst the wildlife sanctuaries here in town. Shy Wolf. And there's several of them. Anyway, help them out. Go ahead, Shelby especially if you're an animal lover. Get out there and visit. If you're coming down this winter, go out there and visit. Let me know if you want to go out there. I'll try to meet you out there. Don't forget to have lunch at Naples House of Omelets, lunch or breakfast. I say stop at House of Omelets on the way back from Kawaii you go to House of Omelets and eat, you're going to want to take a nap. <laughs> they give you way too much food. Oh, speaking of House of Omelets, I shared another, well, I share a House of Omelets post there every morning, but I shared one today. It's got a whole bunch of pictures of their food. Give that post a share. I want to make everybody hungry. to do today. I got several little projects I gotta get on. Gotta make some business cards for somebody today. Of 
course, Kawhi Chobi, I do a little bit of something for them every day. House of omelets. I got a bunch of little projects that keep me busy. Help bring in a little money. Between my beach walks and that stuff, we just kind of squeak by. Things are getting nuts. I'm getting worried about what's going to happen next year. Our lease on our rental expires and people are getting crazy greedy here in town and I don't know if we're going to be able to stay in Naples. And that's going to suck big time. Prices here for homes, rentals, sales are just asinine what they're getting asinine nothing is worth the money people are paying for it now nothing just so inflated hey good morning There's going to come a point in time here where businesses like restaurants and the, the trades, you know, the construction industry, the landscape businesses, you know, lawn maintenance guys, they're not going to be able to afford to live anywhere in southwest Florida. And these businesses are going to suffer huge the way things are going right now. It's really scary. Right now, restaurants are having a really difficult time finding employees. Tons of jobs out there, tons of jobs. I mean, it's not just here, it's everywhere. I'm sure you see it where you live. I mean, I'm not gonna mention the name, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. You know, they had a restaurant looking to hire a line cook and they were offering them, you know, 12, 1400, 1500 a week to start <laughs> for an experienced line cook. That's pretty darn good money compared to a few years ago. Put in a little OT. Couldn't find one. Just gave up. By a line cook, that is a brutal job, too. I don't know if you've ever gone into a Waffle House in your travels. It's just amazing how the servers call out those orders. They just shout them out to the cook, and he just puts them all in the back of his head, and the food comes out. That always amazes me, the Waffle House. I kind of like the Waffle House. When we're traveling, we always hit a Waffle House. You guys got any favorites when you're on the road? Got any road food? Any of those places you like to stop i know a lot of you are probably cracker barrel fans i'm a kind i'm not a fan i'm i'll go there when i'm hungry <laughs> the one i do like their fried chicken i don't know if they still have their fried chicken dinner special that was good my sister turned me on to that one time when we were visiting her up in rhode island she says you got to go to cracker barrel that yeah, was good I'm just not ready for sitting out in those rocking chairs out front yet. It's a little too early for that. Give me a couple more years.
Chester Chicken, is that what that says, Jackie? I can barely see the screen. Chester's Chicken? Never had that. Never had it. Yeah, the sandbars are starting to reveal themselves. I see some people walking out on them. The sandbars up ahead of me. And right out here to my left, it's getting really shallow. Just out where the sun's hitting the water. It's just maybe an inch or two of water on top of the sandbar out here. Old cracker barrel. Have a good one, Phil. <laughs> well, to each their own out here. Where's Robert at? Is Robert at the beach? Did Robert pop on this morning or is he slacking off on his beach duty? He drove me out here yesterday evening. That was nice of him. I'm starting to hate driving at night. It's starting to get hard for me. The night driving, like I said, Throughout the years, I gotta get my eyes fixed one of these days. Just waiting for the big 6.5 to roll around here. And it is beautiful. I'm sweating my butt off now. I've got long sleeves on. I came out in jeans this morning. Just before that sun comes up, it's a little chilly for this little Florida boy. Well, he's not so little. <laughs> getting my white clouds now. Remember, I was hoping the clouds would get a little brighter and turn white. Well, getting my wish. Yeah, we're just crossing into Area 4. We're at the south end of Area 4. This is where we were hanging out last night for sunset. Let's see if I can find the, a shallow spot to hop out onto one of these sandbars. It's beautiful. When we were out here last night, there were some huge holes that people left on the beach. Just unbelievable how big they were. 
there's one that was probably at least eight, if not 10 feet across and a good foot and a half deep. No clue. Way up on the beach too, not close to the water. No idea what the point of that was. I mean, I guess it's fun to dig them, but fill them in for Pete's sake. Fill in those holes. Cut across here. Let's see what's crawling around out here, if anything. I saw, I do see some little. Little trails from some little olives, little olive snails out here, a couple of them crawling around. Let's see if I can go dig one up. Don't see any sea stars. I see a couple little swirls from the olive shells. If you see the swirl right there, it's a little trail. A couple over here. There's one right there. I can see the shell shining down in there. The beautiful little olive snails. We don't take these home. Beautiful shells. You can find plenty of these empty shells on the beach, but when they got a little olive snail crawling around in them, we leave them alone. You can see them coming out here. See if I put them this way we'll see them come out and crawl around in my hand they do that on occasion beautiful shells beautiful patterns and beautiful shine to them it's kind of coming out there he or she, it, no clue. Yeah, it's gonna stay in there. Put him back, let him go back to his business. Back to its business. They're all over the place. See all these little squiggly lines? That's olives. All these little squiggles. I call it bulldozing. They're just bulldozing their way through the sand. A lot of times we'll see some sea stars caught in between the sandbars and the beach, the shoreline there. They get caught up and these little tidal pools get stranded. What do we got down here? What do we got down here? Wow. He's buried way down there. He's buried in the sand. A live little Florida fighting conch. Beautiful shells. Beautiful shells. Florida fighting cocks. Find lots of these empty on the beach. We don't take the live ones. You kind of see them down in there. A little piece of the fighting conch's foot, the Florida fighting conch. Sometimes you sit them on the beach like that, they'll come out and flip themselves over. That guy's sleeping. He's sleeping. I put him back in his hole. <laughs> I 
I don't see any sea stars along this sandbar. Some more fighting conks. Or just looking back and up the beach from out here. Such beautiful views. Beautiful views. I'm just going to continue my walk up the beach for a little while longer here. Try to keep my beach family together for as long as possible this morning. Another little sandbar sticking out there. One more little sandbar. Nothing. Looking for some shells here, but I think they've already been picked through. It's kind of late for shelling. Those diehard shellers get here pretty early in the morning. Then again, you know, we still got an hour or so before low tide. Low tide's not till around 10, so. There's some folks that wait for the dead of low tide to come out. Nothing out here. Nothing out here on this sandbar yet. Just some beautiful views, that's all. Nothing but beautiful views out here. Gorgeous. Little olive shells crawling around, that's about it. 
don't even see any fighting comps on this sandbar. Got on one more sandbar up here in front of Area Roy. Then I'll probably call it a morning. Morning. Good morning. How are you? We've been coming down here for years and years, and we've always talked to this gentleman who got the flesh-eating bacteria. Is Roy, he, he passed away. Did he pass yep. away? Yep. That's too bad. But he was. Man, he came out here, oh, till about his last week. Okay. He was determined to come out here. Do you know how old he was? He was 96. 96. He turned uh, 96 in December. Okay. Yeah, I think. He I think he was around when, in, the, in the early 80s when we came here. He can't remember. Yeah. He, I, every, yeah. That was something I'd ask him all the time. When did you start coming? I don't know. A while ago. It was quite a <laughs> yeah. while ago. But he went, uh, he had a good life and went rather peacefully. That's wonderful. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. God bless Roy, that's gonna happen a lot here during this winter. People asking about Roy. Old Roy the celebrity. The king of the beach. The king of Del Nor Wiggins, God bless him. Ooh, looks like a big cockle shell out on this sandbar. Looks like a big cockle. Maybe he'll stick his tongue out at me. Remember that last one I picked up? Sticking his foot out. I call it its tongue. It looks like it's sticking its tongue out at you. Looks like a big one over here. Let's see if he clams up on me or keeps his tongue out. He came out of that hole. Pushed his way along the beach. See that hole there? That's where he was buried. Now he's pushed his way out. Let's see. Let's see if he sticks that big long tongue out at me. I don't want to drop him. You can see him in there. Beautiful, the cockle shells. Cockle stew, I am assuming people eat the cockles. He's not moving around. He's alive, that's for sure. I'm gonna sit him a little closer to the, in, actually in the water. I'm gonna rinse it off real quick. I want you to see the shell. They're beautiful shells. Be, I'm trying to get him to close up too. There he goes. But the cockle, we call that the cockle heart. Or the cockle angel. Some people see an angel there, others a heart. I see them both when you turn it on its side. There's the heart for sure. Beautiful, the cockle shells. Darn, I had a cockle shell. I wanted to 
put on a tree for Emily's mom, and I forgot to shove it in my pocket this morning. Darn it. Been meaning to do that now. Our friend em Emily Gabrielson, our mom passed away recently. And I do want to do that for her. else over here made a big hole. I don't know what it was. Somebody digging down here for something. Must have been somebody digging for something. One of those people with the metal detectors that leave the holes all over the beach. I've only seen a couple of them fill their holes in after they dig them. Good, how are you? Happy New Year. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> it was a little chillier this morning. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love this. When we get these clouds in the sky, it makes for such beautiful pictures. All right, I think I'm gonna... Oh, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. I think I'm gonna call it a morning, my friends. It has been wonderful. I appreciate it. you tagging along. It's awesome that you let me into your lives in the morning. It's fun having you tag along with me. Wish you could be here in person. That would be awesome. All right, I'll be out here tomorrow morning or around the same time. Never know what we're gonna see. But please tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Help spread the word and share the love. Share my photos, my videos. Tell your friends what these beach walks are all about. Tell them it's not just the beach. It's about the comradeship. It's about the social aspect of meeting new people online. And it just seems that the beach always attracts awesome people. So, there you have it. <laughs> That's a fact, Jack. Well, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Have an awesome, awesome Thursday. Thank you for the stars, those of you that are supporters, those of you that have made that commitment to become a supporter, a regular monthly supporter, thank you. And if anybody happened to send a tip, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You can always find a link to my PayPal account as well as my Venmo account in the description of this post. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.